Welcome back to Renee Marie Stroke of Luck. We're back. Yay! My knee surgery uh, went very well. Very, well, very well. I'm recovering nicely. Um, right, Judy? Yes. Um, it was a journey. Um, you know, I guess, I guess what really worried me, because um, I can get through anything. I know myself. I know you can. I can make it through anything. I never let pain or injury or anything stop me from moving ahead moving ahead <laughs> good words good words but I was worried about the surgery I didn't want to talk about it too much prior because surgery is surgery you right. get put under with anesthesia right anesthesia yes. and um, and I've heard stories about people that have had surgeries Ever so seen. that was really my main concern but I, I really believe God was with me and he did amazing things. I had an amazing team around me and people that loved me. Um, you know, the surgery was on a, right after my uh, Wanaki Reserve 10-year yes. uh, anniversary. And you worked very hard on that. Oh, one. my gosh. That was, I'd love to do that, though. <laughs> I, that's playing to me. I love to coordinate and, you know, and troubleshoot and all that kind of stuff. So it's good. Um, but, you know, then I went right in for my surgery, like, 6 o'clock the next morning. I know, I'm crazy, right? <laughs> um, but uh, so I had Dr. Carney do the surgery, um, the uh, Ramsey outpatient uh, that's affiliated with Valley Hospital. They were phenomenal. My daughters were phenomenal. My daughter, Samantha, my daughter, Brittany, and I usually don't mention their names or talk about them because they, you know, they, it's, you know, I don't like to cross the lines and bring my family in, but I'm going to thank you very much for being my girls, my girlies. Um, for taking care of me during my surgery, an amazing thing happened. Um, the whole the whole surgery was amazing. The whole recovery was amazing, and there was a lot of blessings. Um, my my tenant was a blessing. My two tenants they brought, came down every three hours and took my dog out. Oh, very nice. So very considerate. It, it was it was a blessing to have you know just it was a blessing. I just look at it like it's a blessing, and then. And then um, my my 93 year old grandmother made God bless her. <laughs> made it a point every single day to come over and take care of me. That's ama That's amazing. It's amazing, and it just shows how when you have a purpose and you have something to get up for, you really thrive. You know, and it makes you feel valuable. And yes. It was it was a great lesson. It was a great lesson, and. You know, work was wonderful. And so I, I'm totally blessed in Madhouse TV, you know, the, the team here. And so thank you to everyone, everyone, everyone for helping me recover and understanding and having patience and stuff. So especially you, Judy. <laughs> she called me and worried about me. Are you okay? <laughs> but not during the operation. Yes. I didn't yes, call you yes. then. So before we get to anything. This is really, really important. Yes. Right? Yes. Kelly Live. We, or I, or you can take us both. There she is. <laughs> Kelly Live. She, um, she is looking for a co-host. And you'd be wonderful. I am. I am. Listen, I'm funny. I'm fun. I know how to wing it. Yes. Right? Yes. And the bottom line is that we can spread awareness for strokes and aphasia through our, our joys and having yes. a great time. So I believe that I am the best candidate to be the co-host on Kelly And I Live. second that, Kelly. That's good. And everybody else here, <laughs> raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> so, Kelly, call us. We're the ones that you should work with you, and uh, you're great. I, w I watch you every day, and I love your show. I love the fact that you, it's, it really is fun, free, easy, and you really are a great leader. I know that great leaders don't look like great leaders Everybody around them just really enjoys the company. And I just heard a really wonderful remark yesterday 
um, that uh, one of your guests said to you they were your co-host one time and they were worried about it and they really were astounded in how comfortable you made them feel and how wonderful you made them feel and how welcomed you made them feel. And that is a gift to, the, to, to and you. And you make every guest that we have oh, feel thank very you, thank comfortable. You. Thank you, because I think they're family. I really think they're family. Like, I believe that our two years running the, the Stroke of Luck and TV show. I think it's show, almost three years. No, it's been about really? two, oh, April was, was two years. All April right. was two years. But it was, it was really, I, I was telling um, Terry in the, in the green room before, it, it's like, you know, we have such a great family in Long Island and Madhouse TV and Tommy and Janine and everyone's just been a true blessing, a, tr yes. a true blessing. So we're it. We're <laughs> it. Call us. Call me. Call Renee. <laughs> Judy, I, if I come to the show, Judy's coming with me. <laughs> and she'll be my, what's her, his name? Um, Gil, uh, what's her? her um, Ed, like an Ed McMahon type. <laughs> <laughs> no. Her, um, uh, oh, sorry. Um, oh, Gelman. Gelman. She'll, uh, she'll be Gelman on the side. For, you have Gelman on this side. I'll have Judy on that side. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be and, great. <laughs> and she's funny. She, she does the same thing. How's your hair? It looks okay. Okay. You, know, you, know, uh, <laughs> you have this. Do you have that? <laughs> <laughs> so she does the same thing as Gelman. So call us. Oh, please, 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 please. We're bring stroke and aphasia awareness around the world if I'm on your show. We'll bring the light to that, and that's really... And you're a multi-talented woman, and it would be a real gift for Kelly to have you in, to. Aw, thank I you. I really feel that way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I said, once again, we're a huge family. So I hope you'll, I hope you'll consider us, and I hope that the bottom line is that you'll have us as the co-host. If you don't have us as a co-host, we could always be your guest. That's true. <laughs> We can be guests when your co-host is there, so we can see how he does, or she. And that's another thing. Like, you always have men as your co-host. I could change the, the persona and change the right. way things are and be your first female. And what I want to say to Kelly is she would be so compatible with you. You would feel so comfortable. She would feel like your sister. Yes, we could be bonded like sisters. <laughs> and we can have Thanksgiving dinner like you had with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, right. You know, <laughs> we can hang out together. No problem. <laughs> I can cook. I can oh, cook. yeah, she's a master cook. <laughs> I can make, I actually, I, I, um, I uh, um, you know, been Twittering everybody, and I Twittered, um, uh, Rachel, uh, Rachel Ray, and I said, Rachel Ray, we could talk about strokes and aphasia, and I can make potato and egg, I can make Vienna <laughs> soup, That's I can teach cool. people how to cook. Right, and you could sing while you're doing it, because you're multi-talented. <laughs> That's right. La, 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 la. <laughs> and, you're a mo and she's a motivational speaker That's, as you well. You know what? That's true. We could do a cook show, singing cook show. That's you're always coming <laughs> up with great ideas. <laughs> so All That's right. good. That's good. Um, so we really hope you'll pick us, Jude. Uh, Kelly, we really hope. I really hope you're picking our team. Well, team will come. We'll be there. Maybe they'll have a whole audience filled of our team. We've got maybe, a lot of followers. Yeah, maybe we can invite like everybody that was on the telethon and strokes and and aphasia. You can invite all my stroke family, all the people that have suffered from strokes and and the we head can do injury a whole segment uh, on that. We have head injury people. Head injury people as well. Um, Mark McEwen. I've been in contact with Mark McEwen. I'm sure he would love to come and be one of our guests. So, and he's rocking the world. So, uh, so please call us. We, we would love to work with you. We'd be honored to work with you. Yes, we would. Yes, yes. So um, on my list of things to do, this is really important. We have to pray for the country. I mean, I, I usually don't like to talk about politics, but it's really important. It is. And 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 I don't and honestly I'm not going to tell you to vote for or who not to vote for or what to do but I just think we need to pray before we go to the to the voting booths um, and we really need to to do what's right you right. know and we really need to pray for our country I I have a prayer that rather than than everybody talking about each other and even the news they, they all they do is publicize what Hillary says about... Um, they should be talking about the issues. I, I know. The issues are very important. I know. They don't. They don't. All they do is show them talking about each other. And this said this about this. And he said this about her. I she, think that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, enough. We want to hear what... What you, they're going to do for the country. What you're going to do for the country. That, how they're going to keep yes. us safe. Yes. 
Yeah, because what are you going to do when you have a problem within the country? Are you going to do is talk about them and the issues? No, no. Are we going to get more jobs? Yeah, I, I have. Yeah, I mean, the we economy is stuff. very important. Yeah, we, we have to worry about big things, big things. So please, we want to pray for the country, and we're going to ask Sam Monaco, our uh, faith supporter, to uh, say a little prayer for us. Um, so Sam, I'm going to call you, say a little prayer. Um, this coming Wednesday night, um, I'm going to be on the Wise Guys show. Wow, so, that's yeah, terrific! Yeah, yeah, it's a radio program that uh, they do. Well, the, they do, and they're really awesome. They're really fun, and they're, you were there last year, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my, me and Bobby. I think Bobby may be coming with me. I'm not sure. Right. I have to connect with him. So, hi, Bobby. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Kathy. Hope you're okay. Miss you. Miss you, Michael. Um, October fifteenth, we're having a really important show. Um, we're having the show about um, the vision, the five years of um, our, our foundation, Your our dream, telethon. And how it came dream, about. And what we're looking to do for the future. Um, it's really, 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 really important. Really important. We're doing important work. And, um, and once again, we, I couldn't have done it without everybody. We're just a phenomenal team working together. Yes, so. we are. It's it's amazing. It's it's really a wonderful journey to to you know bring awareness and to everybody. Um, yeah. So Judy, I didn't even ask you. I was so excited about being back on the set. And I didn't. <laughs> I'm even excited ask you. about you being back <laughs> as well. <laughs> I won't scream. <laughs> Tom used to go. Shh. I almost had a. No, not not you, Tommy. Tommy used to say to me. Tommy used to say. The mic, but I'm like, yeah, but I'm so excited. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm terrific. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And next week we've got a really great show too. Yes. Talk about next week's show, and next then we're going to go. Show we're going to introduce It's our... about caregiving. Yes. And the young lady's name is Anne Aguilly. I hope I said that right. And she was working in a law firm, decided to leave. Wow. Um, wanted to go back to school and study psychology. Her parents got ill. They moved in with her, and she ended up being their caregiver. Wow. Wow. And she wrote three books, not one, not two, three. Wow. And one of them is going to be publicized. I think it's the newest one in uh, one of the national magazines, wow. but I don't have my notes wow. with me right That's now. That's okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a little teaser for you to tune in next week. I've actually um, begun communications with Anne, and um, she put one of she's using me my story as one of her segments in her book, which That's I'm beautiful. totally honored. And she actually just texted me, you don't know this, before <laughs> the show, and she said, "Would I do a testimonial for her?" Oh yeah. So she she's incredible, incredible, incredible. And she's wonderful. very spiritual. Yes, yes, I love that. I love that. So today's show is really. Um, are giving back humbly and honoring um, a person who is really a part of our team, a part of our family. Um, we were talking in the green room how she and her keyboardist just her just really jumped onto the wagon of the telethon without even like question. It was like, okay, I'm there, whatever you want. Okay, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> and um, and I said to Terry, her name is Terry George. Um, and his is Frank, what's your last name, Frank? Doyle. Doyle, Frank Doyle. Frank Doyle and Terry George. Um, and I was telling Terry before that, you know, one day, and I mark my words, we're going to have a, um, a, a show or um, a, a keynote or, or a gathering of our entire family and friends, and we're going to need the Yankee Stadium of course, to hold yes. everybody. Because <laughs> we just, we, we're on a path, and we have everybody joining us and, and coming along with us. And Terry's going to do what she does best. She's going to talk to us through her music, and Frank is going to be playing the keyboard. Um, and we're going to hear a little bit uh, today about Frank's history as well. I promote it today. Um, and we're going to talk about Terry, um, the way her charitable heart is really very charitable. We're going to talk about her Senior America. She was a part of Senior America, which Judy was on her for nine years trying to stalk yes, her I... to be... <laughs> <laughs> to be on I know what, I know talent when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk about her um, her position as assistant. Um, um, I'm sorry, I don't know the uh, exact title. What assistant, is it? Assistant banking manager. Yes. Uh, thank you, Terry. 
assistant banking manager. So we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. Those are photos of her um, in the Senior America. That's awesome. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. So we're really excited. We're really excited. We have three weeks of shows this week, next week, and then we have um, uh, my chiropractor, um, Dr. Michael Evangelist, who is an incredible individual and really has knowledge and so much information to share that I said to him, you have to be on our show. And I was just talking to my physical therapist, too. We're going to do a show with him as well. Right. Um, I'm going to go into his studio, though, his set, because I think it's really important to use that platform Beautiful to be idea. able to show how somebody yes. gets recovered after a stroke. So when he worked for Helen Hayes. So it's amazing the way my, my knee surgery has really brought in my horizons and really <laughs> brought a lot of wonderful, important people into my life. So we'll be right back. We're so excited. We'll be right back. Thanks for coming. Hi. <laughs> hey, I always wing it. Like, you know, we wing it here at the uh, Madhouse Studio. I'm Renee Marie Stokovac. Hello, how are you? It's Renee Marie. I'm, we're back. We're back with, of course, Judy and uh, our Judy. special guest, one of our special guests, because they're both special. Yes. is uh, Terry George. Hi, Hi. Terry. Hi, Hi, Terry. Hi, good to see you. It's good to see be here too. again. Yes. <laughs> we're, we, we, we're really honored to have you a part of our family and us to be friends. And, and uh, tell us a little bit, because the people that are watching today don't know the history. So <laughs> tell, us, tell us a quick version of that story you were telling me in the green, in the green room <laughs> about my stalker uh, Judy. stalker Judy. <laughs> stalker Judy. <laughs> Um, I was performing, and Frank was with, with me um, at the Taste of Long Island in East Northport fundraiser um, for the East Northport Chamber of Commerce, East Northport Rotary, and also the Visiting Nurse Services and Hospice. And um, wow. I was honored that year for my community service. And this woman comes up to me, um, and she was like, oh, my God, you know, you would be great for the Miss New York Senior America pageant and what, <laughs> whatnot. And I was like, well, I'm a senior. You know, I have my AARP card to prove it. I'm, you know, I'm 51. She says, oh, you have to be 60. I said, well, come and see me in nine years. So by the time I was 58, seven years later, <laughs> that's when I told Judy, I think you're stalking me now. You're scaring me, okay? <laughs> And, um, and Tommy, will, Tommy will vouch for the. <laughs> and um, so you know, we developed a really, really nice relationship. Um, last year, when I turned sixty, I was eligible for the Ms. New York Senior America pageant, and Judy and her husband Andrew, I invited them to my installation dinner, and she gave me a nice gift. She insisted that I opened it up at that time, and um, <laughs> and I did, and um, nice bag. And beautiful bag, beautifully wrapped, and in there was the application for the 2016 <laughs> Miss New York Senior America badge. I didn't want you to forget. <laughs> How could I forget? Okay. Uh, go ahead. And the pageant was um, in April, and I'm proud to say that I, I came in a third runner-up. Wow! Yeah! Hey! It was a lot of fun, and I met some wonderful, wonderful women. I'm now part of the Cameo Club, and oh. we meet monthly. Wow. Um, you know, sisterhood. It is a sisterhood, yes. Yes. and um, very empowering women. And I've met so many people through that. And thanks to Judy, and um, thanks to Judy again. <laughs> um, I'm here. Um, Frank and I will be performing again for the third uh, telethon for Yay! stroke awareness and aphasia, sure. and. Um, Renee and I have gotten to be very, very good friends, and we constantly emailing each other, calling yeah. each other, yeah. and yeah. it's just a, I feel like part of it, a family, yeah. and it's, it's, great. Yeah. it's great. And it really takes a family to, to be dedicated to our purpose, and to any purpose, any purpose you have mm -hmm. to be a family, you have to, you know, like who you hang around with. That's what they say about work, you know, you have to like who you hang around with, right. because you hang around with them more than you do sometimes with your your family. For sure. That's real, you know. Sure. <laughs> so it's really important. We, from Renee Marie's stroke of luck and Renee Marie's language of love, believe that you won. You oh, are I number feel, one. 
You're our number one. You're our number one. Thank you. Our thank queen. you, darling. You thank you. Thank queen. you so much. Thank you so much. I actually, if I didn't have my knee surgery, I would have gone out and got her a sash <laughs> and got her a crown and... And I really wanted to do that and do it today, but we'll get it for you. We're gonna okay. get it. It's going to be pink because it's going to be I'm Renee Marie's honored. stroke of luck. I was just honored to be part of <laughs> such a great organization and, you know, placing third runner up. I mean, yeah. I feel like yeah. that, that I've won, yeah. and I really want to thank my family and my friends, my colleagues at the People's United Bank who supported me wow. um, throughout this journey and who still support me. And uh, that's why I'm here today. Yeah. Well, you know, that's, you know, another reason that we invited you back because we really wanted to thank you and, um, let me just, United People's, People's, United. Ba you, People's, People's United, United Bank, Bank. Bank. Yes. Um, for the generous donation that they made and you made to the telethon. It really humbles us that you believe in our vision and, you be you know, you're there to help us and, and, uh, and, you know, the den generous donation. So we really humbly thank you and um, United... Thank you. I'm People's sorry, United Bank. People's United Bank. It's, sorry, that's a stroke Or, thing. you know, that's, that's, a, just, that's, that's a easy. Thing. You can just say pub. Pub? Pub. Pub. People's pub. United Bank. Pub. People's nice United and Bank. Nice and, nice ah. and easy. <laughs> and I'm proud um, that uh, the donation that was made and that they supported the foundation you? and also... They support me, and I'm proud um, to be the assistant vice president. And what do they call you? They call me the singing banker. The singing yeah. banker. The singing banker. <laughs> so it's good. So um, we're gonna we're gonna let you do your first song, okay? Because we want to make sure that we have plenty of room and plenty of time. Because we speak through music. We we love to you know talk and to but. We, Absolutely. We, we just channel through music and the love for life and the love for people and the message that you bring to them through your voice in music is phenomenal. What's your first song? Thank you. Sentimental Journey. Sentimental Journey. Okay. Nice little ditty. Let me get this for you. <coughs> what? Oh, it does. No, it's okay. We, we wing it. We wing it. We wing it. Is that okay? Now, what about the mic? You said this can't be on in the mic. That's okay. Oh, she's, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. sentimental journey to renew old memories I got my bag I got my reservation spent each time I could afford oh like a child in wild anticipation I long to hear that all aboard seven that's the time we I'll be waiting up to heaven Counting every mile of railroad track That takes me back Oh, never thought my heart could be so yearning When did I decide to roam? Oh, gotta take a sentimental journey
sentimental journey, sentimental journey home. Welcome back to Renee Marie's Joke of Luck. We're having an awesome show today. We're really honored um, to have Terry and Frank as uh, guests on our show today. And, um, you know, I just really want to say properly a thank you to the People's United Bank of Huntington Branch and this Norport, um, People United Bank Huntington Branch. Sorry, that's a stroke thing, but I really <laughs> wanted to give them the proper thank you. Um, without screwing it up, which, you know, that's me. But, you know, as I just really wanted to thank you guys um, properly, you know, because I know we laugh and we joke, but it is, it's, it really is a big decision for locations and organizations to donate money to somebody right. because I am certain that everybody is asking for donations. Mm -hmm. And to, to come up with which ones, you, to choose one of them, it's hard. It's a, it's a, big, it's a big decision, and it really is. And, and we don't take that lightly, so I it's really want to... say yes to one person, and then, and then I'm right. sorry I can't to another. Yeah, it puts and, you in a very and, uncomfortable position. Yeah, and all organizations yeah. really matter. Sure. They really matter. They really matter. So, you know, we know how, how prestigious and how honored we are. So we really wanted to... Well, like I said, I've been very fortunate that, um, you know, uh, the bank supports all of my charitable uh, activities um, that I participate in. Mm. And um, it gets our brand out there as yeah. well. Yes. yes. And so I have the best of both worlds. I can represent, you know, the bank as its right. assistant vice president right. and also um, giving back to the community. And uh, the bank is very, very into supporting the community that we serve. That's so really important. Great. Yeah. And you know what? And I believe that um, it goes both ways. You know, you probably give to them and go above and beyond every single day in your work environment. And you probably give to them so they want to give back to you. So it really does go hand in hand. Yes. You know, so. Are you on the board of um, hospice? Yes, a visiting nurse service in hospice. Wow. I've been on the board for seven years. Wow. And uh, I just um, started my second term um, as president of the Northport Club. Wow. Yes. That's, that's Rotary. And, and, and yeah. you, and did do you have to, you have to, I'm probably saying this wrong, you have to take classes or take instructions in the hospice of how to, are you a hospice I'm, caretaker? I'm, no, I'm not a caretaker. I'm just, okay. I just serve on the board. Okay, okay. And um, we do so many different things that um, it's, it's a wonderful um, organization. I'm so proud um, to be, to serve on the board. And, yes. Um, that, yeah. Yes. Yes. And, uh, yes. And, and with the Rotary and the things that we do, we just uh, came off of our big event at yes. the Wine in the Courtyard. Yeah. Um, even though it was thundering and lightning, it <laughs> rained on my parade. I wasn't under a big tent, but we still raised a lot of money wow. um, for many or organizations that we support. Right. So that was really good. And now, uh, yeah, we were going to, great, great segue. Mm -hmm. I like the way you segue. That's really good. Because we were, that was a neck. Next thing that we're going to talk about is the Rotary. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know about the hospice. I didn't know that you were on the board for hospice. I mean, and my, I've, I've known a lot of people that have been hospice, and it, yeah. it's humbling. It's, 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 could you imagine? Could you imagine knowing your life is coming to it? Could you put yourself in Terrible. their place? But they What's, make you feel very at home. I had a tour, Barbara Sorrell. Yes, Barbara Sorrell. She's tour. with us in, in, uh, Ro in the Northport Rotary now. Uh, Linda Taylor, uh, she headlines uh, the visiting nurse service and um, of hospice. She's done a phenomenal, phenomenal job. And um, it's just a wonderful organization. The volunteers, um, it's, it's amazing what they do before, during, and even after the bereavement right. um, for the families. They still, still support the families. So it's, it's that's, wonderful. That's incredible. And now Rotary is Rotary is affiliated with the hospice. <coughs> Ro, your Rotary is affiliated, or it's well, just two. They're separate two separate. Things? They're okay. two separate. Okay. Two separate. So tell us 
a little bit about Rotary because, you know, honestly, I just began to know about Rotary when Judy introduced me to Rotary. I mean, I always knew it was there, but I never knew the wonderful work they do. It's phenomenal. We do, um, we raise money for um, local, naturally, uh, in our communities, and also um, sometimes we have joint ventures with other Rotary clubs, um, and we um, also um, service throughout the world. Yeah. We have um, Haiti water projects, just for an example. Wow. We have a lot of other uh, doctors, um, oh, what is that, Doctors Without Borders, that helps us, um, you know, they go wherever it's needed. And one of the things near and dear to, to us is the um, Polio Plus. Wow. And also um, the Gift of Life program. Wow where children, we open heart surgery, where in, you know, third world countries where they would not survive. That's unbelievable. It's, it's just, that's taken yeah. care of uh, through, um, through Rotary wow. as well, the saving lives wow. of children, and that's what it's all about. i got to get involved with Rotary. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's I a great do. organization. They do the good work. I, I really do. I mean, one, yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to find out about it. <laughs> so... Um, that that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. And I'm so, I'm so proud of my uh, uh, my Northport club. They yeah. they're phenomenal. This past Saturday, um, we had a barbecue um, in Northport for the uh, wounded warriors. Wow. And um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend, but the the show still went on. Wow, that's incredible. Everybody puts you know rolls up their sleeves right. and does what they have to do. Wow. Wow. It's a very well-run club. Yeah. And who's the leader of it? Me! Yeah! <laughs> I keep them in check, but they keep me in check, too. Yeah. We're, we're family. Yeah. We're family. Yeah. So, um, Frank, we've known you for, I guess it's about, about a, it's going, it's, it's Lots two of and a half years. years. Yeah. So yeah, I've yeah. met you just when you came to do the telethon, and sure. thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for... Anytime I get a chance to, <laughs> yeah. to play with yeah. Terry, yeah. i got to yeah. tell you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very funny story about how we got um, okay. hooked up. You know how they always say, you know, once you cancel a gig or you can't go to a gig, you always stand the chance of losing it? Yeah. Well, that happened with our last piano wow. player. Wow. Where he couldn't do it. She had a performance in Northport, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, visiting nurses, yeah. as a matter of fact. That's yes. right. And then, uh, so I got the call, and I think I was your piano player ever since. Yeah. That gig, right? Yes. Yeah. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. So how, it was so weird, so... You, how did you get the call? Like, I, I think one no. of our other musicians said, oh, I know somebody. Oh, who okay. could, uh, and they gave me three names, and I was just like, oh. And then Frank <laughs> was uh, Frank Doyle in Northport High School, and I was like, music teacher. And I was like, oh, That's I it. think I'm going gonna, gonna to pick him. <laughs> and um, the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah. Uh, we, didn't even, we never met wow. um, prior to that. Just... You hooked just, up, yeah. hooked it up, and he didn't know who I was. I mm -hmm. didn't know him, but I was like, I think that's my piano player yeah. since he's carrying keyboards. <laughs> smart lady. Right. Okay, I'm real you smart. You say, never, never <laughs> introduce yourself to somebody else in the band on the bandstand because you want everybody to think you've been playing together for, for right. 10 years yeah. and yeah. you're old friends. So yeah. I got yeah. yelled at when I think I was like 18, one of my first jobs, and I first time I ever met the band. So I walked up and I say, hi, I'm Frank. The leader looks at me and goes, don't you ever do that again. <laughs> he goes, we've been playing for years together, you know, because they don't. They don't. Yeah, 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 <clears throat> yeah. But you have a wonderful, uh, prestigious um, repertoire, your bio. Your bio uh, is very, very impressive. Got a bunch very, of stuff, yeah. Yeah, 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 tell us a little bit. Well, I mean, you know, I used to, uh, I have my master's at New England Conservatory in jazz. Wow. And uh, then I was teaching at Queens College as an adjunct. And I was, oh gosh, maybe 21, 22. And one day I said, you know, i got to give it a try. I have to go out because I'm teaching all this stuff about music. Maybe I'll go and leave that. My parents disowned me, basically. <laughs> You're leaving a great job at Queens Council. Right. But I tried it, and I took an ad out that I'll produce people's music for free. Wow. Free. Wow. But you, you pay for the studio time. Right, right, right. And right. I built a reel up, and <laughs> right, uh, right, right. I'm very fortunate right. from there. Right. Now, you, I, in your bio, um, you worked with Al Yankovic. Uh, Weird Al. Weird yes, Al. I was his musical director for a while. Wow. Now. We that had a show be... together on, on MTV we did, actually. Wow. That's pretty it's awesome. It's called The Big Al Show, and he had me in a cage. <laughs> and, like, bars and stuff. And uh, he would come up and throw a piece of raw meat at me, and I'd go, 
crazy on the keyboards. We had a great time. Uh, now, is, this is normal. Like, is it, is it really an act? Is it really, like, he's, he's got a mind behind oh, he's, it. He's a brilliant man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 yeah, he graduated yeah. college, yeah. I believe, at 17 or 18. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, in wow. architecture. He's, wow. he's wow. exceptional. Because it's just a show he puts on. Yes. Just, just a great he's show. He's as normal as you yeah. and me. My father always said that, you know, do something stupid, you'll get famous. Yeah, like, right? You know, if the stupid ones get famous. Not the stupid ones, but the, the silly ones, sure. the ones that make you, you know, remember them, yeah, get, get famous, you know. And then you work with Meatloaf? I did. I played with, uh, with Meat back in the late uh, 80s. What did you play? The keyboard? Piano, yeah. Wow. And all the keyboards, I guess. I yeah. love that song, Bad Out of Hell. Not Bad Out of Hell. Um, Paradise. Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Indeed. It's really amazing watching people around the world. Yes. Knowing every single, single word. word. Every single word. I could do that right now. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. Yeah. And it's a long yeah. song. It's it like, is a long you know, song. eight, ten minutes when we did it. Yeah. So. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. was good. It was good. So we're going to have to go to break so that we can come back and listen to your beautiful Fabulous. music oh, once again. You. And Oh, we're Thanks honored. I can't believe it. The time goes too fast. It goes too fast. We have too much information. But that just gives us a little bit of more to have you back so yes, that we it. can continue Happy the uh, wonderful journey. You know. Very good. We'll be right back. We're going to get right to the music because I want to be able to sing I Believe in Music, at least a few verses to roll out because I love that song. So we're here we go with uh, Terry George and Frank Doyle. Take it away. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. But I can't remember where or when The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore And that smile you were smiling, you were smiling then But I can't remember where or when the first time seem to be happening again so it seems as we have met before and love before and love Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
I never learned to spell at least not well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd never learned to count a great amount. But my busy mind is burning to use whatever learning I've got. Any time I'll strike while the iron is hot. If they asked me, I could write a book about the way you walk and whisper and look. I could write a preface on how we met. So the world would never forget And the simple secret of the plot It's just to tell them that I love you a lot And the world discovers as my book ends back Tommy and Janine Tommy. thank you thank you okay we have to hurry because I don't want anybody to get mad at me but I want to sing a little I believe in music thank you Frank so much thank you Terry thank you so much let's roll maybe I'll use this one is this one testing 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 T Terry stay up stay up come on Frank well, I can just sit around making music all day long As long as I'm making my music, I can't do nobody wrong And who knows, maybe someday I'll come up with a song That makes people want to stop the fussing and fighting just long enough to sing along Let's go I believe in music and I, I believe in love. Music is love and love is music if you know what I mean. And people who believe in music are the happiest people I've ever seen. So clap your hands, stomp your feet, and shake your tambourine Lift your voices to the sky God loves it when you sing Let's go! I believe in music And I, I believe in love Let's go! I, I believe in music Lord knows that I, I believe in love One more verse, let's go Music is a universal language and love is the key 
to find brotherhood, peace and understanding and living in harmony. So take your brother by the hand and sing along with me. Find out what it really means to be young and rich and free. Let's go! I believe in music and I I believe in love. Let's go one more time. I, I believe in music. Lord knows that I, I believe in love. Thank you so much. God bless everybody. Have a stroke of luck. Let's blow our kisses. Believe in music. Let's go. 